Hi, this is Dr. Umesh Arya, and uh, uh, this video is uh, on the Mosday software for uh, collecting the tweets and analyzing them statistically. So, uh, uh, we have to keep in mind that Webometrix and uh, Mosday they are uh, uh, the set of two softwares uh, prepared by uh, the UK University uh, that is Wolverhampton. Uh, we have uh, discussed the applications of Webometric now. Uh, uh, before going to Mosday, uh, uh, this software actually is uh, freely downloadable from the internet. You go to the Google and uh, enter Mosday, and the very first uh, link would be uh, the Mosday's link. Uh, you click this. Uh, and uh, you come to uh, this web page uh, it tells that please see the instructions and free download uh, user guide and FAQs so it is always advisable to download the user guide if you click this then user manual would be downloaded here and uh, here are the uh, list of uh, functions uh, which can be performed by the uh, most day like this is a time series analysis and uh, many more things we will uh, see all of them in action now okay uh, we have downloaded the most day and it is here so if you click this then if you are running it for the first time then uh, it will ask uh, uh, for a particular drive where it can form the projects uh, in which it will uh, harvest the uh, tweets for you so i am giving it the d drive it will uh, say ok and uh, it will prepare the project in the d drive so uh, as you can see that uh, There is empty space here. We will uh, create a project, and uh, uh, the name of the project would be like, uh, for example, start the project. And if you click, then this uh, window would come. Now basic functions are similar uh, to the webometric like if I want to search for the tweets having the word net neutrality then if uh, it is uh, more than two words more than one word then we have to put uh, the double quotes around the search term and we can go on entering the multiple terms like new media or it can be the technology like this so uh, it has to be entered in uh, the separate lines and that too with the uh, double quotes select the language uh, default language uh, as you know that is English and if you click this then it will search Twitter once uh, which means that it will search Twitter for around two to three minutes and it will bring some kind of results for you on an experimental basis and the basic function would be the same like it will go to Twitter and you should have it account on the Twitter itself and the app will ask for the authorization like it did in uh, webometrics and then you click next 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 and it will make the project ready for you the another method is that if you click uh, the uh, keep searching until button clicked it means that you want uh, the search for an extended period of time and that means it can go up to 11 hours or 12 hours of the research or sometimes 2 to 3 days also because Mosdi can collect uh, tweets in lakhs 
3 lakhs, 4 lakhs. So, and then we will click run Twitter and sorry, uh, search Twitter continuously, continually. And uh, once it is clicked, then uh, it will search and it will stop only when you click this again. So, for uh, the advanced search, it is not actually used much. In the queries, yeah, uh, if uh, you want all the tweets with the word net neutrality, but you don't want any particular word, for example, if you don't want the tries name in it, and likewise in new media, you don't want the animation animation word in it so all these words would be uh, would not be in the uh, tweets like it will not uh, select the words which will have uh, the word animation it will it will not select all the tweets uh, which are having the word animation uh, only the tweets with the new media word they would be selected so uh, this was some added function if we come to the timelines then uh, you know that uh, internet uh, has uh, got many good functions like uh, uh, we can select uh, tweets as per the Twitter account for example if I want to get the tweets from the newspaper Hindu then I will uh, click here and write the Hindu only and then HT tweets so these uh, these are the Twitter handles of the Hindu and uh, the time uh, Hindustan line so I will enter the username or the timeline so download timelines so this is the one Another method is that uh, if you see this, the query from, for example, if I click from and write it here, the Hindu, then also it will bring uh, the tweets from Hindu or HT as I have uh, mentioned underneath. So if I uh, search the Twitter continuously for this, then uh, all the tweets from these two uh, Twitter accounts would be uh, collected in a single file. So this was the basic introduction of uh, uh, the most day and uh, I'm not going to click it uh, I'm not going to search Twitter for it because it's a lengthy process and I have already made the project for you and uh, in the next video I'm uh, going to open this. Thank you so much.